Happy New Year guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. You guys, this is actually the second time I'm filming this video. I originally was going to film like a whole grow tent tour for you. This is my Mars Hydro grow tent. I told you guys that I was going to make some changes and Everything is now vertical. I took out all the grow shelves. I was like going through each plant, but then it was taking too long. So I decided that I am going to just show you guys this little project that I have done. And then at a later date, maybe go through the other Hoyas that are hanging here. So this is my Mars Hydro Grill tin, and this is the Mars Hydro light that I'm using. Originally, this light was hanging much lower. So, uh, and I moved it up with S hooks to hang on the very top. And it's actually, I can just put my hand on it. There's no added heat to this light. So there's no concern that it was going to like uh, be overheating in this space. And also I have a fan set up in the grill tent as well. Um, so I moved the grow light up a lot to um, have more space to grow vertically. Um, I just, I like this way much more. I could just like step into the grow tent with my plants and visit each one of them. And uh, whereas when they were in the shelves, a lot of them were in the back and it was harder to check on them and visit with them. Um, anyways, remember a while back, I told you guys I was going to grab a piece of wood and mount some uh, plants on the wood and this is now I think pretty much finished. I, I like how it looks and um, I'll just give you guys a quick tour of what's on this little wall um, and I hope you enjoy it. I don't know how the wood is going to last. I know that this is probably not the most um, moisture resistant plank of wood that I could find but I just really felt very inspired to get on the project so I just went to Home Depot and picked up a plank and then went for it. So down the road I may have to change things out or, or whatnot but I'm sure for the near future uh, things can grow and um, if it doesn't work out I can take cuttings and then see where to go from there. Anyway so let's just get started. The, uh, on the corner, this is one of the cuttings of the Monstera uh, Aurea reverted um, cutting that I got from my friend uh, Juvie. She also gave me a rooted cutting over here that's growing. Uh, I really, really like it. And um, I would really like be super excited if one day it puts out something with a little bit of variegation. That would be super cool. But as just a plant itself, I love how big it is and just I really think it's a beautiful plant. And then here I have a cutting of um, my Amidrian silver. Uh, so it hasn't rooted yet. It's a little bit limp. Um, it was sending out runners in the pot and I just think it wasn't getting enough light. So I took a cutting and put it up top here. So it's getting lots of light now. This is a Hoya Rincii Borneo. Oh, look how beautiful it is. It's uh, potted in here too. And then also really close to the very top is the Hoya Sunrise. This is actually a pretty big plant. So, and it goes like all the way to here. I love these new leaves. These are my favorite leaves on the plant. Uh, and they have so much aerial root. So my hope is that it the aerial root will kind of like find the sphagnum moss and like attach itself to the board. And I don't know the name of this guy. I got this as a gift from my friend Maya. She didn't tell me she was sending this, um, but, but I found it in the package. But I know this one is capable of tanning so beautifully. So, and like turning super pink. So I'm really, I'm putting it up top here. I'm excited to see what happens. And then you could already see the Hoya Morillii is tucked in here. So, so gorgeous. There you go. Um, this is a um, Philodendron Majestic that's growing here. This leaf looks kind of weird. It looks like some pest damage. This whole thing is covered in sphagnum moss, but each pocket has its own kind of like pocket of sphagnum moss. And if I'm finding something that needs to be watered, I will kind of just um, focus on watering just that pocket for that particular plant. This is a Hoya quinquanervia. 
It's so funny, hey, this leaf and this leaf, it's the same plant, but they look so drastically different. This is still the, this is still the Marillia. It's quite a big plant that I have planted in here. And then underneath, I have tucked a cutting of the New Guinea ghost in here. And it's just the most beautiful lavender looking plant. Also my, I love my um, begonia sin bed, but it always gets attacked by powdery mildew every year around September. Um, so I took some cuttings and I'm gonna keep it in the grow tent and probably some in the terrarium to see if that will help prevent that from happening in the coming year. So we'll see how it grows. This is just like, uh, there's a stem cutting in here and there's this little cutting with one tiny leaf. We'll see how it grows, hopefully it does. Um, and then a little, um, this is, uh, what's it called? The name is escaping me right now. It looks like it's actually, oh, this is, they have a peduncle in here. Can you see? This peduncle has bloomed a few times actually already. And then I took a cutting of this um, uh, Dicheria ovata, um, the watermelon Dicheria, and just kind of planted in here. It just like, it tans super gorgeously. So it's right underneath the uh, grow light. I'm hoping that it'll just add like a pop of color in here too. And then a baby cutting of um, Hoya Hushkeliana variegata. Um, this is a cutting of sigillatus that was already like not super thriving in the pot. So I just put it in here just to try, you know. And then a huge um, Hoya memoria in here. I've seen my friend uh, post a cutting or a little plant for sale and apparently it's uh, capable of sun stressing. That's why I'm putting it near the top to see if it gets some color. Maybe after the new leaf comes out. Okay, there's a lot of like little things that's tucked in the corner. Like in here, this little, little tiny plant is actually a philodendron camposport toanum um, cutting that I plucked in there to see how it does. Underneath the memoria, this is a Hoya fungii, one of my favorites. Um, I just took one cutting to put in here. I have another plant in my Exoterra. Um, sorry, I also forgot to show you guys. I put a little hmm, Lacunosa silver in there too. And then another cutting of um, some type of begonia I stuck in here. Um, this is a the Hoya Diptera. It has gotten like just a little bit too, I think the leaves are a little bit damaged from how much light I was exposing it to, but I kind of like this little pink that it has too. Oh, uh, this is a Florida bronze that I plucked in here. There's another leaf in there. And it has a new leaf that it's been working on for ages. <laughs> um, a Caldata Sumatra, just one leaf. The other leaf fell. Who is this? Um, this guy. I don't have the ID with me. I'll double check um, and put it on the screen, but another like small leaf Hoya that I planted in here. Um, let's see. And down in here, this is a Dusheria Hirsuta and I mounted in here. Um, I think this is a Velosa, I think. Hoya Velosa. Um, yeah, and then this is another Dusheria. Oh, the zip tie is showing. Um, and then underneath and here, this is the uh, Hoya Teddy Bear. Pin, uh, oh, I'm not gonna say it. I don't remember how to say it, but it was sold to me as yellow Corona teddy bear. Look at that beautiful pink and splashiness. So beautiful. Some more like uh, miscellaneous begonia stem cuttings in the in here. Um, okay, let's go over here. Two different kinds of Dusheria. This one, yeah, it wasn't doing well in the pot, so I decided I'm just gonna mount it and see how it does here. And this one does pretty well in the pot. And this is another type of Dusheria. Um, I have it hanging 
over here and it does okay but I always love like the vertical element to like some trailing plants on the mounting board and I like adding that into into here that's why I took some cuttings to add in here plus I always hear that the sharias grow very well mounted so yeah so I'm just trying that here too I just put a the skin daps is um, silver hero in here. The cut, the top leaves were growing smaller and smaller, so I kind of figure I'll just cut it and grow it here and see if like it'll grow better um, mounted. This is a um, patchy colada variga um, album marginata. It wasn't doing very well, and I think it has been doing better since I've mounted it. It's really cute. I haven't gotten any new leaves coming from this guy in a long time. Um, and then another uh, cutting of the new um, Obovada um, Varigata Splash in here. And I also took some cutting of the Cebu Blue to mount and see if it'll like growing vertically a little bit more. This is a Griffithia, I think, Splash. Um, and like I used the zip tie to secure the long stem. Um, yeah. And then underneath here, this is um, actually, there's no ID for this one. I just got it from North Shore Tropical and she labeled it as like SP01. But I really love this Hoya. It's so beautiful. And it has rooted, I believe. And it has like a little growth point in the in right here hopefully it'll start to grow soon honestly guys it's been so cold in my grow tent like the tent the humidity is low right now because i've had it open since i started filming but the temperature overnight is below like way below i think at least maybe in the 15 degrees but the humidity stays in like super high in the 90s in the grow tent so that's just the reality of my home like these plants don't get that super warm and cozy temperature as they did when i lived in an apartment um this is a incrisata moon shadow i took a cutting of this there's another one growing in the ter uh, terrarium and the, the, it looks like this old peduncle still trying to bloom um and then this is the Purak, Hoya Purak, and the, this is the AH, AH something, 0724, no. I'm keeping it in this corner so it doesn't get blasted by light. I want that dark color leaves. Same thing with this guy, my Hoya Wilbur Graves. It just like, it's a little bit too bleached for me. I want it to be, I want the new leaves to grow out to be like darker in color. So yeah, so this is where I'm keeping it. And then I have my Hoya Nova Ghost here. Oh no, this is the gray ghost. Uh, anything else? This is still the Dechetia that's, um, that I took a cutting of. And then this is a Hoya No ID. some spots but like some super silvery leaves um my uh philodendron brantianum uh, lots of like little guys growing in here these ones were all like baby cuttings that i have been propagating for a really long time and they grew out and then i decided to plant them in here and then i think in here this is a is it a poultra um, I'll figure out the name and then I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But I really, really love this one. It, the, the leaf is just so beautiful. The pattern and the texture. Take this out of there. <laughs> um, and then I have a pink princess cutting. Also um, planted in here too. This is a CF Patricia. I actually didn't really plant it in here. I just um, put it in a pot and it's like hanging on the grid. But I also uh, secured the stem on the grid as well. 
for the plant to have something to climb onto to like utilize the moss and the moisture uh, from from this plank. Yeah. Oh, and then in here, <laughs> lots of little surprises in here. This is another one of my Anthurium seedling that I am that I have pollinated myself. I just uh, put some in here to try to grow. There here, so pretty. And then I think this is a Hoya chinguin, chinguinensis. There's a little bit of new growth in here. And then I believe this is a luxuriant <laughs> chunk. Um, so like the chunk was, took so long for it to start rooting and it came out with two roots and I tried to grow it in pond and quickly those two roots rotted. So again, I took it out from pond again and then I shoved it in here to hopefully it's like a the sphagnum moss like situation is a cushier, like more comfortable place and it'll reroute for me. This, what is this? This is the Hoya that I just got like before winter hits. Um, I got it for the, for the bloom. Hold on, let me just grab the ID to double check what it is. Okay, it's a Hoya La Sientha. And in Chinese it says Monkey King because I think the flower when it blooms, it, um, it resembles a, of a, like a monkey face. Oh, who else is in here? I have um, this Lacunosa some type of silver in here. I know like who knows, I keep giving this one brew rot in pond, so I just gave up. Um, so I'm just gonna try it here. And I know that they don't really, I think they don't really prefer super bright light. So they're at the bottom here. This is the another cutting of La Canosa. Um, I, it was sold to me as brown splash, but my friend also told me it could be the Royal Flush, I think. I love this one so much, but then it just keeps like doing worse and worse for me over like since it's gotten colder. Um, yeah, so I'm just hoping that it'll hang in there and then once it gets warmer, hopefully it'll do better. This is a um, Bia Kansas AFF that I plugged in here. It's so adorable. And Parasitica heart splash, is, is that what it's still called? I'm not sure. I love this plant. I just find it to be really, really quite fussy. Maybe I'll try to secure it to the to the board too with some type of clip. Uh, I made this little moss ball and I'm hanging it here. This is a philodendron white knight. I think that's everything on this board, you guys. I'm filming this on a Sunday morning and I usually upload on Sunday morning. So I'm, whoops, sorry. I'm really hoping that I could just go and edit it and then still upload it today. So there's something for you guys. Uh, and then we can go back to our regular scheduling of like Wednesday and Sunday uploads. I look forward to showing you guys like all the other plants on, in this grow tan. It's just like a little bit overwhelming to go through all of them especially like right after the holiday i feel like i'm still kind of like getting my groove back on oh i want to show you guys this i try to propagate this sarawak but look cold weather propagation is just not as easy it's yeah this one is a duh oh well maybe this one may stick around who knows it's very yellow i'm suspicious um, okay guys, I'm, I'm done rambling. I hope you enjoyed that video and like like my little project. I, in my new, this coming year, well, in 2022, I'm definitely going to experiment a lot more with mounting plants. Um, and I'm excited to share that journey with you guys. I hope you guys are well, and I hope you guys had an amazing year. And I so look forward to spending this year with you guys and all that would happen and all that we will experience um, and learn in this coming year. All right, you guys, see you again soon. Bye.